Hi, my name's Maddox. And my name is me, and together we are... Uh, family. <laughs> we are family, but what's our title of our YouTube channel? Maddox. And what should the viewers do to our YouTube channel? By hit the yeah. like button oh. <laughs> and subscribe and hit the bell and hit the bell and hit the gym. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so what are we doing today, Manix? Uh, interviewing Daddy's Slimming World, aka his work. <laughs> We're interviewing Daddy's Slimming World, aka his work. So if you don't know, I'm a Slimming World consultant. Um, I work in Sligo, uh, County Sligo, which is in Ireland. And uh, obviously it's been challenging times uh, over the last couple of years with groups and stuff because of, of COVID and uh, some of the restrictions in place. We really wanted to sort of get this channel going, but we were a bit lazy, weren't we? Well, Daddy's lazy because he never told us we're going to do another video. <laughs> Daddy was lazy. So we're doing this video today. We're going to try and do more and more videos. Do you remember what video we're going to try and do next? Uh, I have to try who the body buys me. Yeah, so we're going to try all the different hi-fi flavours and Manix is going to tell you what his current favourite flavour is. So if you want a recommendation of Manix's favourite flavour, then be watching our video over the next few days. And comment what my favourite one is and if, don't comment if you don't know how to read. <laughs> yeah, that might be fair enough. Or um, what might be interesting is if you guys comment what your favourite flavour hi-fi bar is and see if it matches yeah. Manix's. Uh, and you can do the current ones, or you can do some from years ago. Because I remember there was a Christmas pudding and custard one, and I loved it. Um, and I must give you a sneak preview. The new triple chocolate with the white chocolate on the top is amazing. Mm. So we're going to get into an interview. We're going to keep it nice and quick, uh, just as our first video back. So we're just trying to remember how to do everything. Because um, yeah. Manix came home from uh, after school club yesterday, and he said one of the boys um, wanted him to do the video. Um, so yeah, people, have, people have been waiting for the video. And he's watching. He's watching, he'll be watching this. Uh, and yeah. apparently Manix wants, what do you want? A gold or a platinum what? Yeah. You want to subscribe a million? A uh, million thousand likes so we get this golden uh, play button and the green. So if you can help us get to a million likes for a golden play button, we'd be really grateful, wouldn't and, we? And uh, a thousand for a grey one. And a grey one, thousand. Whatever you can do, we'd be grateful, wouldn't we? Say please. Please. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'll give you a million grand from Daddy's wallet. Yeah, because I've got it. So, uh, right, first question, Manix. Uh, well, what did you do in Slimming World last night when I was at bed? So last night, when you were in bed at Slimming World, we had all the people come in. Okay. And there was lots of new people because it's January. So lots of new people join in January because everyone has a New Year's... What's the word? Mm. <laughs> New Year's resolution. So uh, everyone was coming in and we sat down and we explained how the food works. So we explained a bit about the activity and we explained what they can expect from their Slim World group. We asked them what they'd like to achieve in 2022. Okay. So what their dream was for the year. Um, I asked them all what their challenges were, like what stops them losing weight each week. Is it Friday night drinks? Is it taking the kids to sport? Is it late night when they get the munchies? Um, and we had a raffle and we answered a few questions and we just got everyone settled so that they made some friends and felt really comfortable. So that's what we did last night. We explained Seven World's food optimizing plan. We introduced everyone to each other and we made some friends. Next question. Uh, what is your favorite food and you can pick two? Now. Favourite food, pick two. Um, uh, and do I, am I only allowed this food for the rest of my life or can I have other food as well? Well, so you filming just, is, is a video, so yeah, we can eat different. Okay, but you still want to know my two favourite foods. Yeah. Right. One is rice. Like we already told us. Because rice is a free food and it's very filling and you can have it like cold or hot. You can have it with a curry, you can have it with uh, taco mint, and also... I had it with, um, I had it with, I had it with, uh, curry noodles. Curry noodles you can have it with. Um, you can also have like a pudding, like a, it's called rice pudding, so it's like really sweet. 
Oh, okay. Uh, so I love rice. That'll be one of my things. Um, now, I'm torn between cereal and onions. I love onions because I love pickled onions, and I love onion in my food, and I love cheese and onion sandwiches. And you like uh, shreddies. I love shreddies. I do love cereal. So I'll probably go for cereal, either 40 grams of shreddies or 40 grams of Weetabix minis, because I sometimes pick them at night time as a sweet food as opposed to breakfast. So I think they're quite versatile. Good question. Next question. Get more weight every day. How do you lose weight? No, how do you get weight? Well, you get weight if you eat more than you burn off. Okay. So say you had loads and loads of food today and then you didn't really move, okay. you'd probably put weight on, but you don't need to worry about this. Um, <clears throat> and the opposite applies for people like me. We have to be mindful of how much we're eating, try not to eat more than we need to be full up, and eat loads of vegetables and less candy <laughs> there you go if you want a tip people less candy more vegetables that's the key to losing weight less sins more speed food that's comment it comment down below comment that, down below that we'll makes it American <laughs> it does it is quite American right two more questions you're doing really well buddy you can ask me any two more questions you want I haven't got any questions. Well, what's your favourite food? Oh, mine. Can I pick two? You can have two as well, yeah. But do I, do I have to eat them for my last my life? You can have other stuff as well, but what's your two favourites? So, let's see. What is kind of my favourite? I kind of like bacon. I'm obsessed with bacon. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like... Uh, mince. Mince, <laughs> good boy. You love it with mash and gravy and that, don't you? Yeah. I do too. Um, and you were asking Daddy before we actually started the video about my tips, my tips for people. Um, my first. That's our last question. Is this the last question? So this is the last question. Um, well, you said five. I can't remember. I think this is four, but I asked you once, and that makes five. Um, my tips for people trying to lose weight. One, I think, is to set yourself a goal. No, what is tips, Daddy? Tips is, you know, when Daddy explains things to you yeah. to try and help you do things better. Yeah. That's what a tip is. So my tip to the people trying to lose weight is to know how much weight they want to lose. So the first thing is to know where you want to get to. Okay. Yeah? yeah. It's like if you went to school and you didn't know where the school was, how would you get to school? Uh, yeah. Dad could tell <laughs> yeah, but you not everyone's gonna have maybe. No, a, I already know. Yeah, because you're very clever. Um, but that's because you know where it is. Yeah. So I think that's really important. I think going to a Slim and World group, in particular, Daddy Slim and World group, is. Daddy's yeah, um, because it's very easy to give up on your own. It's very easy to lose interest, and it's nice to have the support of lots of people around you that want the best for you. I think my biggest tip also this year is to, to learn to forgive yourself. So if you do make a bad choice, don't be too horrible when you, you know, when you say to yourself, oh, I've been bad. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, it doesn't help. So there's no point saying that. So you just okay. be nicer to yourself, move forward. I think one of the key things I'm trying to get my members to think about is to enjoy sins uh, and not feel bad. Okay. So enjoy a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of crisps, a little bit of wine, a little bit of this and not feel like they're... No. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about all the, the risks of health, wine and, and whatever as you get a bit older. Um, and I think activity is the other thing. I think it's one of the things that people miss out on. They come in and they give up potatoes and they give up chocolate and they give up a lot of the things they like. So they're really restricting the food they're eating and then they're not bringing in any activity. and. It, their their interest just fazzles out pretty quickly. But and no one tells you to bring in anything, but people don't bring in anything. Into what? So like, say if Daddy had a teacher in my school that said, you don't have to bring in candy, and like he brings in candy. Hmm. It's an interesting point. I'm not quite sure what you mean. So Daddy doesn't tell them... Daddy doesn't tell them what they should or shouldn't do. He tells them, oh. or he gives them advice on what they should do. 
So I say you should do it like this, or it'd be good if you could do it like this. But they mustn't be too hard on themselves. They must know how much weight they want to lose. They need to try and incorporate some activity. Incorporate, uh, start doing some. So not just eat good, but be moving as well, like mummy. Um, join a group, get some support. Uh, and also visual uh, visual motivation. So get yourself a little colouring chart for every pound you lose or one of these boards where you put the, the euro in. Um, some people will post all their stuff to their Facebook group or to Instagram just so that they keep seeing how well they're doing to inspire oh. themselves and others. Okay. So it was a short video. It was an interview by my son, Mannix. How old are you, Mannix? Six and a half. Six and a half. Uh, and and birthday is six months uh, and uh, from daddy which is me um, so please do like the channel uh, hit the bell uh, subscribe to the channel we'll be so so grateful and don't forget um, if you want to leave us a comment if you've got any questions you'd like answered for our next video Manix could ask me those and then on our next video keep your eyes peeled because we're going to do the taste test of all of the high five bars yeah, of course I will. Yeah, so leave some comments. In fact, leave comments on this video because Manix was hounding me to do a video and I wanted to do a video because I love spending time with him and we don't always get as much time as we'd like. So if you can leave a comment, any comment, I can read them to Manix uh, tomorrow and I'm sure it will make his day. So thank you for watching. We hope it's been helpful and uh, all the best. Say bye-bye. Peace. Peace out. See you next video.